today we are going to create this style animation in After Effects. Now this is inspired from the Apple event and it's very easy to create. So let's see how to make this. So before we proceed, I want to tell you that we just hit 100,000 followers on Instagram and I just want to thank each and every one of you who are following me over there. And in case you don't know about it, then make sure to follow because there are a lot of good tutorials and videos that you don't want to miss out. So make sure to follow motion underscore nations. And once again, thank you so much. Now let's begin with this one. All right. So here we are in After Effects and you can see that I've already downloaded a couple of these images. So these are just some product images which you want to use. Just import them in After Effects and you are ready to go. After that, we will begin by creating a new composition. Let's call this one main with the night 19, 20 by 1080 frame rate. We can like keep it 30 and duration. You can be whatever you want. Just click on OK. First, we will begin by creating a new solid. Let's right click solid and let's make it a little bit darker. Something around here. Just click on OK. Now, first, we are going to create our tiles. So for that, we need some guide in order to create like perfect tiles. So first, I'm going to like search for an effect. Let's search for grid and let's drag it onto this one and over here we can change a couple of these points first i'm going to like set this to width slider now depending on how much spacing you want between the tiles you can like play around with this width slider because this will only act as a guide so while i was creating it i just set this to 50 down to this is i'm going to do it now so now you can see we have the this gap so i'm going to like align my tiles according to this also let's slow down the border because we don't want to like actually see it we just want the outline perfect so we will begin by creating our tiles first so first i'm going to like select the shape tool if you click and hold we can select the rounded rectangle tool now let's just simply click at some point and just drag and it's completely up to you can like create it however big you want so i'm going to like create it something like that now uh, make sure that it's stroke is set to none we don't want any stroke and also let's go inside the rectangle and under the rectangle path we have this roundness option now it's up to you however round you want so i'm going to like set it to somewhere around 50 i think this looks good now let's quickly align it so let's just zoom in and i'm going to like align it somewhere around here perfect now here you can see we have this we can probably scale this up now you can press s and you can like increase its scale however you want Let's align its anchor point to the side somewhere around here so that we can like scale it from this side. And I just want these edges to like touch these grid. So here we have our first style. Now I'm going to like create another one. So we can select this, press Ctrl D to duplicate this. Now all we have to do is just simply move it down below and let's just place them like somewhere around here. We can probably like scale this up and let's just scale this something around here perfect and we want the same scale over here as well so i'm going to set this to 107.1 perfect so now all of these are like aligned and let's just place it over here now we want this to be like elongated into the y-axis so we can like uncheck these values and let's just increase its scale now you will notice one more thing that it will make the edges like way too distorted so in order to scale this we can't use the size parameter instead of scale so let's search for size and let's uncheck this value and now if i scale it up you can see that now we are able to have the perfect roundness but it will scale in both the directions so for that you have to like play around with its position so let's just scale this up just place it over here and i'm going to like scale it up let's move it a little bit up like that and just scale this perfect so here we have our second tile now in the same way you can like keep on creating more tiles and you can like have a pattern over there again it's completely up to you however you want so if i duplicate this i can like move it somewhere around here and now we can like scale this up along the x size so i basically want this to be like a little bit something around here now I'm going to like fast forward this step and I'm going to like come back once I have created all the tiles. So now I have added all the tiles and you can see that I have nicely arranged them. And again, it's completely up to you. you can like arrange them however you want. So once you're done with this, we are ready to like add our images or whatever icons you want to use. And first we can get rid of this grid. So we can probably delete this layer and let's just select this background and I'm going to like quickly apply fill and let's just 
light and I'm going to like change its color to white. Let's just remove the grid and here we have this white background perfect so before we continue if you enjoy my work and you want to support me then you can check out my patreon page over there you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so make sure to check it out link for that is in the description now let's continue now we want these images to be visible from these styles so for that we can basically use the trackman option now i'm going to like select one of these so i want this image to be around here so i'm going to like drag this image and let's just place it on top of this or down below we can like place it over here you can see that it's quite big so we can probably scale it down like that and let's just move it somewhere around here now in order to make this image visible from this style we can change the trackpad option from here again if you're not able to see the trackpad then you can click over here now if your trackpad looks different then you're probably using the older versions now it has changed so in the newer ones all you have to do is just simply select this this pick whip and just select the layer which is on the top or the tile from which you want this to be visible and it will create this track mat in case you are using the older versions then you will have a drop down which will say track mat alpha mat something like that so from that just simply select the alpha mat and your image will be visible so once it is visible we can like play around with the scale to make it like completely fit so here we have our first image now in the same way we can like add more images as well let's pick this style and over here i'm going to like let's add this one so let's just drag it over here and again we can like scale this down and let's just place it somewhere around here again we can change its track mat like this now it will be visible through this style now let's play around with its scale and let's just find something nice so i think this angle looks nice now in the same way we can add some icons to these as well so over here like i have this icon this one so we can like drag it over here and i want this icon to be visible over this so we can like simply drag this icon and on this one we don't have to like play around with any trackpad all we have to do is just simply place it on top of this so let's just simply zoom in and let's just scale this down now if you want to like place it exactly in the middle of this so we can use the align option but you will notice that if i change the alignment by using these two you can see that it will also move our tile as well which we don't want so there is a workaround all we have to do is just simply select this tile and let's press p let's add a keyframe now let's move like a little bit ahead now we can select both of these and let's just align them to the center perfect now we can parent this icon to this one and we can go back to the first keyframe now we can uncheck or remove the keyframes now these will be perfectly centered now we can change its color as well so let's select this icon and i'm going to like change its color and for this one let's keep it white for now and in the same way you can like keep on going and adding all of these images wherever you want so now i have added all the images and i also have added like text on a couple of these so i have added fast 5g and iphone 16 8k resolution so it's completely up to you. you can like have text images or icons like these now you can see that these styles are like red so we can probably add some gradient color onto this so let's select this style which is this one and i'm going to search for four color gradient let's drag it over here now you can play around with the position and the color of the gradient so I'm going to like basically make it something sort of orange like that again it's completely up to you. you can like play around with these so let's move these endpoints like that and it's completely up to you. you can like place them wherever you want and you can do the same thing onto these tiles as well so let me just quickly do that so now i have added the colors to these tiles as well now our last step is to like animate them and in order to do that we can like simply select all of these layers which are these boxes so we can like select them so let me just quickly do that so i'm going to select all of these layers which are these shape layers like that and we can in fact change their color so let's just set them to green so that we can easily select them later on as well if we need it now we can add keyframes for their positions let's press p and i'm going to like go somewhere around one second and let's add keyframe for position to all of these 
So if I just click, you can see all the keyframes have been added. Now in the beginning, we can like start moving them out of the frame. So over here, we have this style. So we can probably move it to the top like that. And we have this style over here. So this one, we can like make it come from the right side. And let's say like this, we can move it down below. So just move them wherever you think like they will look good. So this one we can like probably have a simple scaling animation instead of position because this is in the center. So we can have a scaling keyframe. So let's add a keyframe over here. And in the beginning we can like simply set this to zero. Let's select the other tile and we can also move it to from the top. Now if I press play, you can see all of these tiles are appearing, but we can tweak them further by simply selecting all of these. Let's select these as well. Now you can press F9 to ease them. Let's go to the graph editor. Now if your graph looks different, then make sure you're using the speed graph, not the value graph. Let's change them to look something like that. Perfect. Now if I press play, you can see we have these styles coming in. Now we can also have some animation to these images or these icons as well. So in order to do that, all we have to do is just simply select these icons. So let's select this, press P. And for this one, we can have a keyframe over here. And in the beginning, I'm going to like move it down below because the tile is coming from the top. So it will give a really nice effect like this. Now let's do the same thing with all the others as well. So over here, we have these two text. Now in the beginning, we can like move them to the top. So first, let's add keyframe for position and let's move it over here. And in the beginning, let's move them to the top like that yeah i think this looks good let's do the same thing with this text as well again we can like have a simple position keyframe now in the beginning we can like move it top like that now in the same way we can have some animation to these images as well so let's just simply select a couple of these so i'm going to like select this one but for these we can have the animation like to stay a little bit longer so for this one i'm going to like add a keyframe for scale let's add a keyframe for position Let's select these press u and i'm going to like simply change its position so let's just move it to this point in the beginning so let's move these keyframes over here and somewhere around here we can like have it go up a little bit like that so that this is moving in the tile we also have a little bit of scaling as well like that now let's do the same thing with all the other images as well. So let's pick this one. Let's press P for position. Let's press S for scale. And let's just add a little bit of movement. Like this. And we can have a little bit of scale as well. Perfect. Now we can like move them a little bit far away so that these are like scaling randomly. And in the same way, you can like have animation to these images as well. Now, once you have added the animation to all of these images, our next step is to like offset them. So for that, we can like simply start by moving all of these layers like away. So let's just simply select all of them and I'm going to like move them away. In the, be in the beginning, we basically want the tiles which are like somewhere in the middle. So for that, we can like select these tiles. So this iPhone, we can have this one start appearing like that and we can have all the adjacent ones so let's select this and i'm going to like move this one as well let's select this and let's move it somewhere around here and we can like keep it let's move this one as well and let's move this one ahead as well so you basically want all of the tiles that are adjacent to this one to like come up first so you can see that we have this tile coming in and we have all of the other ones as well now after these we can like have all of these other ones coming in as well so let me just quickly play this out and let's play around with this one where i want this to like come a little earlier yeah i think this looks good now let's move the other ones as well like this so now if i press play you can see we have first these styles coming in and then we have the other ones coming as well now if you want to like delay them out then you can select all of them press u and we can select their position keyframes and we can like move them far away so let's just select these position keyframes the end ones only and we can like move them a little bit far away in order to make them a little bit slower somewhere around here yeah i think this looks much better 
perfect so once you're happy with this we are ready to add like zooming transition or some zooming animation to this as well let's select all of these layers right click pre-compose and let's call this one animation just click on ok and on this one we can like have a scaling animation so let's add a scale let's move it far away and in the beginning we can like scale this up so that we are only focusing on this and as we are moving we will zoom out let's select this press f9 we can like change the graph to look something like that so now if i press play you can see we have this very nice zooming in animation again we can like play around with these animation to like make them a lot smoother but again it's completely up to you you can play around with the background as well you can have like some gradients whatever you want again it's completely up to you do whatever you want to do with this so this is how you can create these kind of tiles animation and the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one <music>